Hello everyone, Katarina here. Uh, welcome to another video with crafty things I purchased. I have a little bit of cold uh, for over a week, uh, so I hope you don't mind, but I purchased these items two weeks ago and I didn't want to postpone this video for another week. I've been shopping at Seven Hills Crafts and Bumbleberry Paper Crafts, so let me show you what I got. I will start with Bumbleberry Paper Crafts. Originally, I wanted to only shop at Seven Hills Crafts, but the only stamp set I really needed uh, was for a congratulation card on a new baby. My friend is going to have a baby and I really wanted to make a card. And the stamp set I picked uh, was sold out. It's this stamp set from Avery L and I found it on Bumbleberry Paper Crafts. But since I'm showing you a photo of the stamp set, that means I didn't get it. I put it into the shopping basket and then I had a look what else I could get from this store. I mainly looked at the brands that are not sold on Seven Hills Crafts. And I found this stamp set from Gina K uh, with two elephants uh, called Bella Elephant. And I think it's very cute and much more fitting uh, for my friend. I still like the one from Avery L, but this one is yeah, slightly cuter. Uh, it has a few sentiments. Uh, Eek, I forgot. Dream big. Welcome little one, which I will be using for my card. Wish big. So sorry. Thanks a ton. Giant hacks. And hope your birthday is unforgettable. I think this sentiment I will be using for a lot of birthday cards. I really like it. And it also has a few images that you can add to the card, like a butterfly, little mouse, a balloon. And I can't wait to make this card. I actually did get one item from Avery L. It's this die uh, called Star Frame. I already have the one with uh, the hearts. But at the time I was buying it, the star uh, version of it was sold out. So I was very happy that I finally could get it. And my idea is to create um, a galaxy background and put this die cut in the middle. Next stamp set I got is for my planner. I always wanted to get a like good versatile stamp set with a uh, few icons, few words for my planner as a stamp set, not just uh, stickers. And I found this one from Honeybee. It's called Be Organized. I really like this stamp set because it has all sorts of words. It has a uh, few icons as well. And I used it already in my planner and I really like it. Before I show you the last stamp set I got, uh, which in my opinion is really great, uh, let me show you two items that are non-stamp, non-dye items. First is the multi-medium matte adhesive from Ranger. I just wanted to have one spare bottle in case I run out. I really like this adhesive, although I didn't try any other adhesives. Uh, it just works for me and I wanted to have one spare, as I already said. And a second item is uh, the last distress ink kit that is missing from my collection is the kit number 10 and it contains uh, the colors or the inks called tattered rose squeezed lemonade iced spurs and bundled sage i'm hoping i'm pronouncing all the items correctly i think in every video i have items i cannot pronounce and i hope i did good job in this case but the last stamp set I got, and I was really having a hard time if I really want to pay for so much for it because it cost £20, uh, is this background stamp with a poinsettia. It's from the tan and it's called Poinsettia Close Up. And it's really pricey 20 euro uh, or £20 in euro, it would be more. Uh, it's a lot of money and I hardly ever give so much money uh, on a single product. The last time uh, I paid a lot for a product is uh, when I bought the stitched rectangular dies from uh, Create a Smile. Uh, these ones are for 
A6 cards. So they are for the cards that are using uh, the metric system, not the American imperial system. It cost 30 euro, but I think it was worth it. And I'm hoping this is going to be worth it as well, because I just love poinsettia. I would buy probably every stamp set that contains poinsettias. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing poinsettias correctly. I don't know how you really say it properly. I had an idea what I want to create with it. Uh, just a simple watercoloring. Looked on Pinterest if that's a good idea or if I, my image in my head can be represented in the card and many people did just the same. So I thought like a great idea and I love it and that's why I got it. So that was all I got at Bumbleberry Paper Crafts. Uh, let me show you now what I got at Seven Hills Crafts. I mainly shopped for Christmas products, but I will start first with items that are non-Christmassy. So first stamp set I got is for Halloween. I don't really care about Halloween, so unless I find a stamp set that is fun or I know what I could do with it, then only then I will make a Halloween cards. And the stamp set I got is this cute stamp set with a monster. It's from Art Impressions and it's called My Feet Stamp and Die Wobbler Set. That means you stamp the monster. There's also separate a stamp set for the feet uh, with a die that you can die cut. That's where you attach the wobbler thing and uh, you attach the feet on top of the stamped monster and the feet will be wobbling. So the stamp set uh, comes uh, with uh, the main monster stamp set, extra feet, uh, die and one of the action wobblers. And the sentiment is also fun, it says trick or treat smelly feet. So the stamp set comes only with one action wobbler but you can buy a separate uh, set of wobblers, they sell them in six pack and three packs. Uh, the six pack uh, was sold out when I was shopping, uh, but I bought two of the three packs and I don't think there was any price difference. Next, I was looking for a word die, the one from MFT, that's a smile. I wanted to recreate a card that I did on Valentine's Day. It says uh, love and it has this abstract background and I wanted to just use different colors and use the word smile and make the card more generic. But I was thinking, like, is it worth it to be buying uh, these single word dies? And I found uh, this alphabet die set from Alta New. It's called Fine Alphabet Die. And I think it's more worth it. It cost uh, 16 pounds, I think. And I think it's a very good price compared to buying just a single word dies. Uh, it's better to have like the whole set of all letters and just create whatever words you want. So another die set I was looking for was for this stamp set from Clearly Besotted. And I made a card last year for my boyfriend uh, where I put the crabs that are fighting for one cracker uh, in the middle and they are sliding from side to side. It's this card and it slides from side to side and I had to use my craft knife to uh, create a slider. So when I saw this die set from Mama Elephant, that was an answer to my solution and I can use it for any other card uh, in the future as well. Another die set I bought, uh, this is the last die set I bought, uh, is the coordinating die set for the holiday bouquet stamp set. I used it only once last year and I really like it. It has poinsettias and I just want to play with that stamp set and make a few variations of the card, uh, use the dies as well. Yeah, I really can't wait. Before I show you the Christmas stamp set, I got a few stencils. First stencil I got, I think it's more um, autumnal. I thought I will just uh, use the texture paste uh, together with some distress inks uh, to color it and uh, spread it across the stencil and uh, make a nice card. Uh, this stencil is from Alta New and it's called Leaf Burst Stencil. 
The next stencil is from Hero Arts and it's called a Tile Pattern Stencil. I think it is a little bit more versatile stencil. I think it can be used on many occasions, you know, with distressings, with texture paste. I think you can make so many different backgrounds for this, with this stencil for many occasions. And last one, we have a stencil that is for Christmas. It's this stencil from Newton Snook Designs and it's with these snowflakes. Again, I'm thinking using texture paste with it or distress inks and it's called Snowfall Stencil. So let me start with the Christmas stamp sets. I definitely will be doing the 12 cards for Christmas series that I have been doing for past two years and I needed to get a few stamp sets. I don't really care if I don't get the latest releases because sometimes it doesn't really matter. It's just the idea behind it. You can use uh, any stamp set that you have in your stash. You don't have to use the exact stamp set that the crafter is using. And the stamp sets I got are... So first I got this stamp set from Lonfon. I thought I will make like uh, a night sky and like it has to be a little bit pale at the bottom and going darker at the top with stars and a stamp at the bench with black ink. I don't know yet because it might be too dark. I definitely will have a try. Otherwise I will just stamp it with Versamark ink and use a white embossing powder. So the stamp set has the bench, it has a lamp, it has snowflakes and the greeting says a season greetings. Next stamp set is a stamp set die combo. It's this stamp set from Newton Nooks Designs. Uh, it's called Snow Globe and three years ago I think I made this Christmas card with a snow globe and it's a shaker card. I thought I have quite a lot of sequins and little beads. It's time to make another shaker card. I don't make them too often and I think this stamp set is really great and uh, I just really can't wait to use it. You don't necessarily need to make a shaker card with it um, and it has a lot of images that you can put as a background in the snow globe. Four greetings, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Let It Snow and This The Season. Um, also you probably don't need to use it as a shaker card, you can make a background with those two images with the houses. You can put a car somewhere or multiple cars, the Santa flying over. I think you can do way more with this stamp set than a snow globe. And the last stamp set I got, I was picking between multiple uh, stamp sets and dies and stencils. And I think this one is the most versatile out of them. It's this stamp set from Vinnie and Walter. It's called In the Bloom, Elsa's Flora. And I think it's perfect for making uh, really bold images in the middle of your card. It can also be used not just for Christmas because it has two roses and the other flower that I don't know what it is. Overall, it's very versatile and again, I am very excited to use it. So that is all I purchased. It's not a lot, well, not a lot compared to the price I paid, but I really like every item I got and I can't wait to start crafting. I hope you like this video and I would really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do so you don't miss any of my future videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest and also hop over to my blog where I have way more cards than I show you on this YouTube channel. It's called cherry-b.net or cherry-b.net. I will put all the links in the description below. I will have a rest now because I need to get rid of the cold somehow and tomorrow I have to go to work. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!